Hello and welcome to Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. My name is Jay Chong and today I'm going to share with you how to use webmail in your PC and or your mobile phone. So what is webmail means? For example, you're joining one organization, uh, one NGO, one company. They were giving you something like Jay Chong at ObamaFoundation.org. So how are you going to use this email to sign in? and use the apps or programs or email client that you've been familiarized for example microsoft outlook into pc or you want to use gmail apps in your mobile phone how to sign in this web mail and today i'm going to cover you how to sign in let's go okay so how to use your web mail in pc or mobile is actually very simple okay let me show you the concept and how it goes step by step and from today onwards next time someone give you a new email as long as with the email address and the password you know what to do okay at first place let me show you most of the time when when someone give you an email address you can you can use the guess that uh, the easiest link to go to the webmail is these two. Okay, let me show you here. Can you see my screen? It's, for example, this is a domain name called onegroup.my and you want to access the webmail, there are two ways. Okay, it really depends on how the developer design. Okay, it really depends on how the developer design their web hosting, their structure, okay? Usually these two also can work. For example, let me use the first one. I'm just copy paste. Okay, go to your browser. Okay, anything will do, just paste it. And you shall reach this guy called webmail, okay? Then just key in your username and password, which you've been distributed and given to you. Eh? Okay, you shall not share your password, so I'm not going to share you. But this is just for demo purpose. I'm going to log in just like that. Okay, once you reach this webmail, okay, I believe the interface is about the same. Whereby you can go to your inbox here. Okay, you are giving webmail client, which is under hot or raw cube. For me, these two is about the same. It's just about, um, it really depends on the interface, which one you like. Okay. Then there are a lot of features here. Okay. I think most importantly is um, you want to configure your mail client. So there are two ways to go to the information about how you actually set up a web mail in your mail client. Mail client is something like the program Microsoft Outlook or the Gmail that you use in either um, in in your mobile phone so you can scroll down here if you look at this guy there's something called configure mail client okay you can click this guy or you can also go to the top right if you see your name here oops okay this name here okay click it and you shall see one guy called configure mail client here okay click on it it's the same as per the bra uh, bottom of it just now you scroll down this is the very important information you have okay not necessarily all email hosting company will give you exactly this incoming server and outcoming server which is the same as per mail.onegroup.my for example please uh, be informed that this onegroup.my is actually the domain name okay so if you are given let's say your domain name is demo at onegroup.my then this is the domain name Okay, it's very simple. Eh? So let's let me share you the very first first program or uh, email client that you're going to use in um, in the PC. So let's say you have a Microsoft Outlook here. Okay, you want to sign in your email address. Okay, your webmail. So what you're going to do is just press file and add account. Okay, when it comes to this part for sure. You want to type in your email address okay most of the time um if the email hosting provider configure 
clearly you can easily just click connect without the advanced options but for the sake of um, understanding and proper configuration let me click this guy advanced option okay let me set up my account manually so that you will know and know more about how it is going on eh? so let's connect give it some time to add it okay then the next thing is they will ask you which one you want to set up okay you want to go for imap or you want to go for okay for me i will strongly suggest that imap even though you can actually go for pop okay what's these two different it's very simple pop is means all the emails uh you know read or unread status that you done in this device doesn't affect the server which means it's only download for you to use it or to send and receive email but the status of the email won't sync back to the server okay which is actually not so convenient okay i'm going to scratch it out unless you need to use it in that way i will say you go for imap which is whatever you do here in this device will be synced back to your cloud okay so for the sake of a convenience convenience click the imap then the server will be the one that you saw just now let's go back to this web mail okay did you see this guy called a web server let me make it bigger so you can see this guy here this is the server address so you're going to put this guy under here called server okay just key in here then the next thing is did i rem do you remember this is under imap right do you see this imap so what you need to do is um you go to this what you need to do is just go to port 9, 995 as per as per you see okay i'm sorry actually it's the imap port 993 okay you click this guy and then you go back to your microsoft outlook and change the port number to 993 okay if you see these two guys here under the encryptions and as well as require log and so on these two is for security purpose and for really security concern i would suggest that number one encryption method go to ssl and tls that's number one okay just click it and the second thing is secure password authentication yes so that all the incoming email will be authentic before it received from you so this is required here and same thing here on the server okay you are going to type it uh, mail dot any of the domain name for this on my case is one group dot my i'm going to put the port number here for this round even though it's an imap for outgoing but if you look carefully there's only one port number here so which means you're going to use the same even though it's imap a pop tree okay you're going to put the same port number as per 465 then for the encryption as well as the security i will do the same as per incoming just for security concern i'm going to put ssl and take this guy so once you've done this just click next then you will take a few seconds for um okay before that you need to key your password for sure okay then you click connect and give you a few seconds then your email account will be connected easily okay it's just like that your email will be uh, can be used in your email client like microsoft outlook this is how you use your webmail okay when it's done just click done and voila your inbox is here and it's slowly to sync down all the emails here and so on okay give it some time it really depends on your internet speed and so on okay just like that see it's here okay there more and the email is here okay so this is for pc version okay especially if you're using microsoft outlook okay what about mobile version okay for mobile version i believe most of you use gmail so for the sake of uh demonstration purpose i already opened up my proof text which is an android emulator okay so it looks like a mobile already eh? so you click this guy but i believe most of you use gmail so let's go for gmail this round okay once you open up gmail i will suggest you to add another account okay let me click this add another account and you have a choices here and again same thing remember just now in microsoft outlook you choose uh, others or imap pop something here you got to choose other first once you do that you're going to key in your email address and you're going to click next 
Okay, this one only they will ask you what type of account this. And again, as a as per I mentioned just now, go for IMAP because whatever you done here in this device, it will sync back to your cloud. So click IMAP here and again key in your password. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Next. Okay, here's the thing you need to pay attention again. Okay, username and password is already there. That one part you have to pay attention is the server. Okay. Usually you just key in mail dot in front of the domain name and your server is there. Okay, just like that. But you have to triple double check with your email hosting provider. Okay, check with them what kind of server you use, or you can always go back to the web mail as I showed you just now. Look for this recommendation. So for my case, the incoming server will be simple as this. Okay, this is one of the most common way especially using a web mail under cPanel environment. Okay, so let's continue here. Okay, next. This is for incoming. And again, they will ask you in terms of outgoing. Outgoing means you want to send out the email which verified from you. Okay, and again, the server will be adding one more mail in from the domain name, just like this. Okay, I'm going to click next. Voila. When you reach this page means uh, it's actually done. Let me click next. Okay. The final step in terms of Gmail is what name you want to display on the same messengers. For example, I'm going to put demo by technology simplicity. As simple as that. I'm going to click next and give you a few seconds. Email account created and sign in, in your mail client of your mobile phone which is the gmail that you've been so familiarized so again your gmail already have your web mail and synchronize in that way so that's why i want to share with you how to use web mail in your pc or mobile so i've been sharing you two simple programs which is number one microsoft outlook which is usually you use it in your pc or your laptop okay and number two the gmail app which is usually you use it in your mobile phones. So two simple apps email client that you can use to sign in your webmail and you can carry your webmail anywhere. And especially the webmail is carry your professional domain name. You can use it everywhere rather than just sign in, in the Chrome browser. You know, it's so much convenience, especially you can download the emails now in this offline mode and can you send them even though you are boarding somewhere with the uh, without Wi-Fi or internet. So that's all I want to share with you today and if you like this video and this tutorial please help me to give a like on this video as well as subscribe to this YouTube channel of Technology Simplicity and last but not least remember to put a ring so that every time I upload a new video like this or even I coming on live every Wednesday 8.15pm you will be notified. So thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again and stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.